So you might be in a really, really weird situation where for some reason your Apple Watch charger is for some reason not charging your particular Apple Watch. Now, this can happen for a lot of different reasons. There's never really just one reason why this stuff you know, doesn't work. The very first thing I'd recommend doing though is making sure that the charger that you're using, so making sure this little charger block that you're using as well as the other side of this charger, they're both connected and they're both working. As long as you can guarantee that these two devices are working, that will probably end up fixing the problem for a ton of people out there. So all I would recommend doing is making sure that this side of the charger is plugged in and it's charging on this side. And also this side of the charger is connected to your Apple Watch. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in this particular side to my MacBook. And all you're going to want to do is on the other Apple Watch, you want to go and plug this thing in straight into here. Now when you do that, you should be able to see that if you go and even just temporarily disconnect the charger and plug it back in, you might see that this thing may have ended up just working literally straight from that. So try that out. You want to see if that ends up working. And probably for a majority of people, that might end up fixing it for you. And that's probably what I'd recommend doing. Now for some reason, that is not working. Another thing I'd recommend doing here is to go through and basically just see if you can go ahead and essentially restart your Apple Watch. So if you can guarantee that the charger is working, go ahead and hold down the buttons that you normally would hold down to restart your Apple Watch. So on this button right here, go ahead and basically click on the power button up here and swipe the power down your Apple Watch. And then when it's powered down, give it a few seconds and go ahead and power back on. And that can very well end up fixing the problem too for a lot of people. So again, not quite a guarantee, but it's another option that you do have of basically fixing the problem. If that still doesn't work, you may want to see if there's an update available for your Apple Watch. So make your way over to your settings application of your watch. So open up settings. You then want to go into your general settings, which is right there. And then what you can do is you can go and click on software update and see if there's an update available. And if there is, go and update your watch and that might end up fixing the problem. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.